Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 18th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had another whipsaw, but it was a little bit of a different one at least. We gapped lower and then rallied the rest of the day. Unfortunately, um, it really didn't resolve anything in the resistance levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday. My goodness, it has been a wild week of whipsaws. Um, who knows, maybe we will experience another one today with the market now trying to gap higher. So yesterday we gapped down, rally up. Days before that we gapped up and pushed down. Um, this morning we're trying to make that gap or, or follow through and capitalize on yesterday's rally back yesterday. So let's take a look at um, these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today. If you'll notice in here, we have a pretty good hold of support in here. So although we've been extremely volatile in the market and challenging price actions, this was a nice little hold of price support in here. So we tested that level, bounced right off of it. One of the things that was kind of running us into trouble yesterday is all of the hockey, hockey Fed statements out there saying, you know, um, all that we have done is not, not done much to reduce um, these inflationary pressures that the Fed is talking about. Um, James Bullard came out and said he sees the rate having to rise somewhere between five and seven percent to um, actually um, change um, or have an impact on inflation because we haven't had much yet according to the data. Now if we were to consider that, um, which the market doesn't want to consider anything bearish right now, they just want to buy. And I get it, it's been so bearish for so long that everyone just wants to buy. But we also have to remember that um, although this was a nice little rally yesterday, it's done nothing yet to breach these resistance levels in the chart. That's what we continue to struggle with. Now, perhaps we'll do deal with that today, but you'll want to kind of keep in mind that so far with all of this swinging around and all the emotion that we've seen in the market, really nothing has changed. We're still in a wide ranging chop. And we also want to keep in mind, if you're a buyer today, remember sliding, sliding into this weekend, next week we're going to see volumes decline likely pretty sharply as we move toward that holiday weekend. You know, a lot of folks will be out traveling and probably more than normal be out traveling either by road or by um, air. Um, because they haven't had the chance due to COVID to really um, go um, do much on holidays. So you'll want to keep a close eye on um, that as you're thinking about buying stocks heading into a holiday week. Volumes are likely to drop. Now let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. And the good news is the bulls continue to hold in here very, very strong. Notice we're holding above our 500 day moving average. Our shorter term moving averages are moving up. So you gotta give that up to the bulls. They are working pretty darn hard here to hold that market up, albeit we are very extended in the short term here on the Dow particularly. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, the SPY rallied back yesterday nicely and you can see we pushed right back into that little bit of resistance level in the chart right there. Um, but the good news is we didn't break down um, overall. We held on to this price support that we talked about yesterday and um, we still have this significant resistance above, even though we're working to gap this market higher this morning, 
um, just kind of keep in mind as we push back into that resistance area of the chart we run that possibility of another pop and drop. So keep an eye on that. We're still wedged between these spa spaces as we continue to range around here in these wide swinging moves. And we really have yet to resolve much of anything here. But you do have to say that the charts remain bullish. So we hold into these bullish patterns. We may be working to push our way up to that 200 day. The way things are going, we've spent so much time in this range. Maybe what we're waiting for is the 200 day to come down and meet price action here we'll have to wait and see if we were to take a look at our nasdaq nasdaq struggled a little bit more yesterday initially with the selling and you can see we pushed well here let me get a line we pushed right down here into this price support and for a short period of time we breached that level um, and then bounced right off of it. Now we rallied at the end of the day right back into that resistance level. And this morning we're trying. You know, when they can't get enough buying during the day, it seems like institutions are, are pressing um, these gaps every single day in the market. When they can't get it done during the live session, then they press it into the overnight session to get a gap. So we'll want to watch that close as we push back up and just keeping in mind we still have these significant levels of price resistance right up here that we'll have to deal with as we push back up here in the chart. Also keeping in mind our technicals here on the QQQ holding in there good. This was a hold of the that 50 day moving average. So you got to you got to just say the bulls are doing the job here hanging in here overall. Now, if we were to take a look at our Russell, well we have a little bit of an issue here on the Russell. Um, the Russell was the weakest of the bunch yesterday and as you can see gap down into um, some support down in here we did um, ultimately bounce off of that but it remained relatively weak and they couldn't get a whole lot going yesterday here in the Russell so let's gap it up this morning instead and you can see what we're going to do is we're going to gap right up into some price resistance here um, in the in the morning and if we can pass through that then we still have this upside move in here to consider um, I want to show you something here it's a chart that I look at um, um, every week is part of my analysis um, I want to show this uh, well you're not going to be able to see that whole screen um, I'm sorry that's not going to work very well um, let's go back here and let's just do this if we change um, these charts to weeklies if we look across these charts in here you will see the IWM is still in an overall downtrend. If we take a look at a weekly QQQ, the QQQ is still in an overall downtrend. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY still in an overall downtrend. And the only index that we have um, breaking that tradition here is the Dow. So we've got 30 of the stocks in the, in the Dow doing all of the heavy lifting here while the others are still showing us that little bit of problem of that overhead resistance. So just kind of keep in mind the majority of the stocks of the market are struggling with that overhead resistance while we've got 30 stocks being pushed pretty hard by the institutions trying to convince everyone to buy, buy, buy may not be just as bullish as we'd like it to be just just yet so kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at our vix our vix showed no fear yesterday well initially we had a little bit of fear we popped up here on that selling um, and then just ignored um, you know the data that came in stronger than expected um, um, didn't worry about what the fed had to say and we rallied all the way back pushing that fear back down so you can see we rallied up into this area that resistance held the downtrend resistance held so we've got to give that to the bulls they are doing one heck of a job here of just continuing this pressure to the upside you can see um, no um, uh, by the end of the day we actually reacted negatively to this resistance in the chart as well continuing to hold a uh, below 25 handles so pretty impressive here on the day give that up to the bulls if we take a look at our t2107 oh excuse me t2122 t2122 
22122 chart, um, as you're going to see here, we pulled back um, substantially here in T2122. As a matter of fact, we had dropped actually below the 50% area earlier on in the day and then rallying back up. So what that has done here is if we can find reason for bullishness in the market, it's opened up that opportunity here to the upside. Um, we've um, increased that space anywhere where we can get a little bit of that bullish push uh, going on before we hit that bearish reversal zone again. And if those bears find inspiration, well, we certainly have um, opportunity back to the downside, um, as we can see. And, and yesterday's Dow, um, between low and high, over 350 points in move. So we know that we have the capacity for these really big point moves and big whipsaws. So you'll have to continue to be very careful and watchful for those because you know, anything is possible when we whip around that many points. If we were to take a look at our T2108, our T2108 also relieved some of that pressure yesterday. And really did a good job of holding up. As you can see here, we haven't broken down into um, any of these support levels yet. Um, we are still extremely elevated overall. 70% of the stocks holding above their 40-day uh, moving average. And you can see it when we get up into this range, we, we have to kind of expect that there's going to be some kind of a resting pullback. But that doesn't mean we can't squeeze higher still. We Just last August, we squeezed all the way up into here here before we reversed um, in the market. So if we take a look at a T2107, T2107 also relieved a little bit of that pressure in here. And again, the bulls held on very, very strong. We didn't come down and test support here in the chart. And 43% uh, of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. So you got to give that to the bulls. They're hanging in there very strong. But short term, this trend probably pretty elevated. We'll want to keep an eye on that and just realize that if it does reverse, um, it could reverse in kind of a big way and be a little bit of a, um, um, a painful pullback that could be possible. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 hooked over yesterday. So that buying coming back in yesterday actually maybe shifted that momentum back to the upside. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. If that shift continues um, with this follow through today, well, watch those resistance levels in the charts. See if we can deal with those and push on through uh, to a new level here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it, but we do have one of those major things that could move us in uh, in the day, and that's those existing home sales. We have seen those home numbers, the home sales numbers not be all that great. Um, so we'll want to watch that existing number here this morning. And other than that, you know, we've got more Fed speak and we've got, you know, leading indicators and things like that that aren't likely to move the market. And so far, even though it's been a pretty strong chorus of hawkish Fed statements out there, um, I just think we're going to continue to ignore it in favor of trying to push the market higher here on Friday. Um, let's take a look at our, um, our earnings calendar today. And our earnings calendar is a much lighter day today. Um, Fridays typically are a little bit lighter and we're really starting to, you know, dwindle down on those earnings reports. But we do have a few notables here this morning um, that I will point out. Um, and mostly, uh, mostly retail. There's a couple other things out there that um, we'll be reporting today. I think there's eight total reports. Um, uh, confirmed for today, but uh, BKE, uh, the buckle, will be reporting today. We've had a pretty interesting mix of of retail reports. By and large, I, I'm going to say they've been pretty bullish, but um, kind of an interesting mix um, in in those reports. And as you can see, BKE pushing up here and dropping um, in the pre-market on inch report. We've got a Foot Locker report today and looks like they are popping up pretty strongly here um, in the morning. A little bit of whipsaw going on, but they're looking good. And then JD.com um, continuing to stretch back up here 
um, on um, the Chinese retail um, stock. So watch that as that approaches this longer term resistance in the chart. Let's take a look. We had um, a Pan W that reported last night. They reported well, uh, moving to the ups upside here and AMAT. Um, also reported well yesterday, uh, gapping higher this morning. So yeah, that was after the bell yesterday. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment helps the channel to continue to grow. I do truly appreciate it. And I also want to say, you know, big shout out to those folks. I haven't mentioned it here for a while that have supported the channel through the buy me a coffee link. Um, that link is just below the title of the video. And thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I, I truly appreciate it. Let's um, uh, take a look here at some stocks that could be setting up. And keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to have to do some pretty good due diligence thinking about the holiday ahead and how much trading you really want to do, how many positions you want to hold going into this weekend with likely a light volume week uh, coming up. So consider, consider your positions carefully. First off, let's take a look at at um, some stocks that have been whipsawing all over the place. Um, I mentioned TTWO yesterday. Um, uh, I was looking at this as a potential short and you can see it triggered that alert and we bounced right back here on that bullishness and we're trying to push back up here again today. But I gotta tell you, there's really nothing about this chart that looks bullish to me at the moment. So if we do whipsaw uh, again today, gap up and drop, um, you might want to keep an eye on a chart like this that's got all that resistance above hasn't been looking too hot here so if that were to reverse and come back down you might want to look for some shorts in a chart like that um, how about some long charts I think one of the best looking long charts I saw yesterday um, was into it um, into it had a uh, nope Intel sorry Intel had a really nice um, um, support hold here yesterday. So we pushed back to support, buyers stepped in and notice that we've got um, trend and support helping out here on Intel. It's looking just pretty darn good. Uh, very bullish looking chart. Um, watch that closely and you can see here on the technicals this is a break above the 50 day moving average. What I usually like to see is I like to see that 50 day average starting to turn up and we are getting that little bit of a turn right there in that 50 day moving average. Um, our shorter term averages have come up through the 50 providing a little bit of that moving average squeeze in there. So keep an eye on that. That's a pretty darn good looking chart and um, um, I like the technical patterns here. So um, might be something of interest to be watching. Also kind of keeping a close eye, I'm still holding, I'm holding a long-term position here on TLT. And although we pulled back here on TLT, what we're seeing is um, that that possibility that this is starting to reverse and as you can see breaking that downtrend nice little w formation in here breaking through that resistance and holding it as support so what we might start to see is we might start to see bonds being picked back up here if um, we're going to be bullish in the market um, so watch that closely i think this probably needs some more pullback some more rest in here um, I wouldn't be rushing right into this just yet, um, but I'm holding this as a long-term position and I'm just kind of thinking that all I want to do is hold on to this. I think we've got that pretty good chance that we rally back up here to midway at least in um, that TLT. So watch that closely. And I do think the Treasury Department is going to be conducting an operation here. It may not be until, oh, 
next year sometime before they conduct that operation where they're going to sell their um, low yielding bonds and then repurchase higher yielding bonds and that will encourage the banks to really start diving into bonds to get those better yields so watch that closely if they start to do it there's been some discussion about it and um, they may be moving up that time scale a little bit as well because the short end of the curve on those bonds are, is really getting out of control here and that's really the only thing that the fed and the treasury can control is the short end of that bond curve so watch that close now other charts that you might want to be keeping an eye on if you like that tech you might want to keep an eye on nvidia nvidia reported that report yesterday uh, a day ago that you know, wasn't all that great but we held in there pretty good here um, despite that report so watch that right in there there's another one of those little higher lows coming into that chart now I do think there's that possibility that Nvidia may have to rest a little bit more to come out here to the trend but keep a close eye on that um, looking pretty good and holding in there strong um, at the moment might be worth keeping an eye on some of these metals um, if our dollar continues to weaken these metals are likely going to move higher and maybe substantially higher so you can see we've broken the downtrend here in gold and um, we'll be watching to see if we can catch some price support in here someplace for that next opportunity to move up so watch that as that rests or pulls back and look for that next opportunity in gold you might also want to be keeping an eye on other metals um, STLD um, Steel Dynamics had a really nice move yesterday, which which was interesting um, uh, because the dollar, you know, moved up yesterday, but was slowly trying to drift back. If you take a look at Steel Dynamics, that's a pretty nice looking chart right in there. Um, there's your trend. Bullish engulfing candle may have that opportunity to move on up here in the chart, and you can see we are um, at all time highs. So really, we have blue sky above. Here here in Steel Dynamics. Watch that one closely. You might also want to keep an eye on um, copper and, and really miners. Um, some of the junior miners out there looking pretty good um, in those charts. So watch that close. A uh, little resting pullback in here starting to happen in that chart. Um, if we can hold some price support, then there may be some opportunities in some of those metals. So with that, guys, I'm running out of time here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and, more importantly, an awesome, awesome weekend. I um, hope you all have a pro excuse me, productive and profitable day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.